And earlier today, students and faculty also honored McKeon at Anclo High School. Our Malik Rankin shares how they're bringing joy to the school, just like McKeon did. When student staff and parents drive into Anclot High School, they'll now pass this, a flower garden memorial for Sierra McKeon. Because she was one of the best people I've met in my life. The tennis coach leaves behind the team she helped build. Many of her players planted flowers in her honor. She always had us first, put us first. I don't think she ever thought of anything besides us and our matches. All she did was help us, and I think that she made the best influence that she possibly could have on our team. McKeon isn't done changing lives. When loved ones found out she was donating all of her organs, they say this came as no surprise. No, but that was her. That's Sierra, you know, so it's just uh, full of life and, and, you know, thinking about, hey, when I'm not here, somebody can can be, you know, instead, you know, so I, I that, that tells you everything about her. That was the type of person that she was. She totally would do that. She saved so many lives by doing that. The flower garden is meant to bring people a little joy. She was just such a, such a joy to play with. Very competitive, you know, a lot of fun. Something Sierra McKeon often did to those around her. And it has been a tough few weeks at Anclote High School. The school recently lost a student who died in a motorcycle crash, as well as a janitor. The school has brought in counselors to help students and staff process this grief. And we mentioned there McKeon's organ donor status. She will go on to save many lives. Let's take a deeper dive.